Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Mas Oh, this is the wrong theme. Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Masala and welcome back to another episode of Road to Kaido. Just give me a second while I select the correct Oh my yeah. While I select the correct squad. Sorry about that, I was just trying something different. And welcome back to another Road to Kaido. Haven't done Road to Kaido in a while. If you're new and you subscribed recently. Basically what this is, is I am um, attempting to get to, well earlier in the year I attempted to get to Division 5 using only Japanese players on FIFA 18 and I completed it and uh, I thought I'd come back today because um, there's some things, well firstly Japan's World Cup camp, to talk about Japan's World Cup campaign and a, a new card that's come out as well so I thought I might as well do a road to card about that uh, because yeah why not. So yes, um, you may have seen in the title that I'm a that it's like goodbye to three legends, not quite sure what to call it, but um, if you, as always, after a major tournament, some of the team's players usually decide to retire from international football, and this time two of the Japanese team decided to um, retire from international football. One of those was Kazuki Honda, my favourite player of all time. Uh, it's slightly weird, but usually it's someone like Ronaldo or Pele or someone like that, but for me it's Honda because of his free kick in 2010, go and check that out if you haven't seen that. And yeah, he's just, uh, because of that free kick he became one of my favourite players, and of course I was very happy when he got that assist and goal in J for Japan in this World Cup. Very pleased with him, and it's, it's sort of the end of an era for me, I've never really known the Japanese national team without Kazuki Honda. So it's going to be weird without him in the team, uh, but he's still in my team with that nice 84 foot birthday card. Also this is a formation I'm going with now with all of these very nice shiny new cards. And yeah, I better take Kagura out because I need to play the other player who retired from the national team recently, uh, Makoto Hasabe. This is going to be a very old midfield, I'll get to the other player in the midfield in a second. Uh, yeah, Hasabe is also retired. I didn't know about him in 2010, but I certainly knew about him after that. And uh, yeah, um, he's 34 now, I think. Yeah, 34. And uh, he's had a very long career, and it was good for him to retire. Not sure about Honda retiring, I thought he maybe could have done another World Cup. But Hasabe, it's time for him to retire. Captain for eight years of the national team. Uh, very good player and he really led Japan in the World Cup, played every minute I think, yeah. No, apart from the ones where he didn't play the minutes because they took, because they took a risk playing against Poland. But yeah, um, Hasabe has been a very good player for many years and uh, yeah, won't be, any, won't be seeing him in the national team anymore but hopefully I will be seeing him on FIFA next year when I do the series again. And finally, not really, I don't know if he's retiring or not, but he might be, uh, Yasuhito Endo, I'm going to keep pronouncing his name wrong, um, it, but uh, he's 37 years old, so it may be 38 years old actually now, so surely he'll be retiring soon. Played for the same club since 2001, and him and Honda were the only players that I knew about in 2010 because Endo played against England in a friendly and I knew about him then before they, before they went to the 2010 World Cup and yeah so I, I did know him I, he, I haven't really used him this series because he's 38 so he's really old but that card looks phenomenal uh, 80 and everything apart from pace I'll be very pleased to use that card and yeah so yeah I'm not sure if Endo is retiring but it just makes sense to put the three legends retiring on the um, uh, thumbnail. So yeah, um, also this is a very old midfield. This guy's this guy's 30, 37, he's 38, uh, Endo's 38 and uh, Hasabe's 34. That's a really old midfield. Uh, but yeah, um, hopefully I can win with this team and yeah. Okay, let's look at this guy's team and he has got a full Prem team with, okay, like I've been seeing a lot of these Prem teams without special cards in them. I don't know why, maybe people have, I'm pretty sure people have sold off most of their teams to play World Cup mode and just want to play a bit of divisions for fun. That's why a lot of people have this, these sort of teams. Get there, no. How did he miss that? Renato Sanchez. Get there, nice. That's why Nakamura is quite good at heading and here can Inui go and he can't. That did not make sense at all. 
Oh, okay, that was not good defending for me, but I, he, yeah, not good defending for me, but he did something different to what I thought he was going to. Um, I thought he was going to pass it back to Antonio, but he decided not to. He went for the shot, and it was a very good shot in the end. I do need to draw this match in order to gain promotion, so I'm going to have to get a goal now. Ah, oh. no, don't shoot. Honda. No, Honda just wasn't, he was like running through dirt there, but uh, there we go, and um, this guy's been very hard to break down, as you can see I've only had one shot, but I believe I can do it, uh, I know he's on his favoured side this time, so that'll be good, as for the midfield it's very slow, I really do need Kagura in there for Hasebe, Has Hasebe? Hasebe, and that's probably what I'm going to do to be honest, I'm probably going to bring Kagura on now, um, okay, no, Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, that was not good play. I just let him through and there we go. Oh dear, Yoshida, what are you doing? Ito, get there. Ito, that is brilliant from Ito, come on. Sakai. Okay, that wasn't what I meant to do at all, but there we go, and that's not in. It's a corner. Do this and then oh it's not what that's brilliant that's not what I meant to do I meant to dummy it that's great Yoshida with a goal rare goal from Yoshida there but that, that was a very nice one and come on I can get back into this match yeah clear it that was a terrible clearance why didn't I just let that go out for a corner I'm not I'm not doing that I know he's got 99 salmon why would I do that that was terrible one Kobayashi. Oh, that was not good. Okay, it's corner. I should have scored that. No! Oh, that. I should have scored that so, so much. Free kick. Play on. Kobayashi. Yes! Oh, no. I don't know if there's going to be time, though. But at least I'm close. I'm close. And that's a goal for Kobayashi. Get the ball back. Or just jump in midair. Come on, go. He's just gonna pass it around. All right, just gotta go. And okay, fair enough. It at least it was closer. Probably shouldn't have lost. <laughs> it's probably a fair scoreline towards me, to be honest. I was not playing well that game. Nine point one for Inui. That Inui card is amazing. One assist. Uh, another goal for Kobayashi. So that takes him up to sixty-five, I believe. And uh, yeah, so um, not the best game I've ever played, but uh, yeah. So the three. Um, Legends that I was reviewing, they didn't play too well to be honest, but of course I was playing Hatterday a bit out of position. But yeah, uh, please, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, so if you want, I'll be doing a lot of different stuff. Uh, please leave suggestions and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, thanks, and I'll see you next time.